He gets so devoted to hitting a ball, hitting a ball, just see what happens. Tremendous things happen. This much pride and freedom you must keep in your life. Today when we have a lot of opportunities available to us, uh, the multitude of choices that we have almost uh, paralyzes us because we have uh, a limited uh, amount of time. How do we choose, uh, how do we go about choosing uh, what, what do we want to pursue? So, about making choices, probably you're talking about professional and other kinds of choices, right? Is that what you mean? See, there are different ways to look at this. Today, unfortunately, I was… Uh, they were asking me, uh, till now, whatever this number of universities you covered, did you get the kind of questions that you want? I didn't want any kind of questions in particular, but I wanted every kind of question that's possible. But what I'm seeing is, <laughs> very few questions have come asking with concern for the larger world, for the humanity, for the life on this planet, for the nation, for things like that. Very few have come, very small percentage, rest are all about personal stuff. I'm not saying it's not important, but I'm surprised that young people are not thinking of larger uh, situations in the nation and in the world. Having said that, see there are two ways to approach your life. Either I want to do what I want to do, but you must understand what you want to do is just a thought that you generated and it's not even yours, it's something that you pick up from around you. Well, there may be certain aptitude. Well, people were asking me, you know, some news channel is asking me, Sadhguru, why don't you? Are you standing for election this time, 2019? Are you standing for election? I said, I have no such intention. Okay, next election at least are you standing? I said, no, but why? I said, that's not my competence. I don't think I'll make a good politician. If I thought, maybe I would have thought about it. So one is aptitude. Do you have a certain aptitude towards a certain action? So, are you thinking in that direction or a whole lot of people today are deciding what to do depending upon what they will get out of it. What will I get? Will I get this kind of lifestyle? Will I get this kind of salary? Will I make this kind of money and lifestyle? This is what they're thinking of. This is a wrong way to approach because you will have everything and you will have nothing in the end with life. The important thing is this. See, if you make yourself, first of all you must do this, you must not be driven by your anxieties, your frustrations, your concerns. You must take… When, when this question becomes a serious question in your life, you must take off at least three to ten days, let's say depending upon who you are. Some people may need three days, somebody, somebody may need more time, let's say maximum three to ten days range. And not to be influenced by your peers, switch switch off the phone, not to be influenced by your professors, not to be influenced by your parents or the social pressures. Spend some time with yourself and see. I'm asking you a simple question. Are you a precious life? Your life, is it precious to you? Hello? If it's precious to you, what are you going to invest this precious life into? Is something that must concern you, isn't it? You must not do something because he's doing it. You must not do something because he's not doing it. This is not the way to decide things. You're investing your life. If this life is precious, you must see what is it that really matters to you. And you must do that. It doesn't matter, it pays, it doesn't pay. But believe me, if your heart is not in something, really, you will not do your best. Yes or no? If you don't do your best, how will great things happen to you? See, whether it is art, music, design, business, sport, spirituality, politics, it doesn't matter what it is. If you are not absolutely devoted to what you are doing, you will never do anything significant in your life. That's for hundred percent, I'm telling you. You may earn a living. But you will not do anything significant if you are not totally, totally devoted to something. See, right now there are many examples uh, because uh, they gave him a Bharat Ratna, I'm choosing him. Let's say Sachin Tendulkar, 
this man knows nothing except hitting a ball. He gets so devoted to hitting a ball, hitting a ball, hitting a ball, hitting a ball, and he hits it like nobody. Now he is Bharat Ratna. Yes or no? It is just devotion. You must talk to him and see privately. He, he is like, you talk about the ball, he will… <sniffs> he is so devoted to it, <laughs> okay? It's his… it's his religion, it's his sacred stuff, it is everything to him, hitting that ball. His entire life he invests in one simple act, hitting a ball, is it a big thing? But hitting a ball because of enormous devotion, just see what happens. Tremendous things happen, isn't it? So, the question is not about what you want to do. The question is just this, can you be devoted to this? Let's say you think in terms of today, if I invest my life, next twenty-five years, can I be devoted to what I am doing right now? Will this matter to me? Will I feel fulfilled if I look back and see what I have done? Something. You do whatever the hell you want, just do it well, that's important. And don't do any damn thing that you will be ashamed of doing tomorrow, isn't it? What other people say doesn't matter, but you should not be ashamed of what you have done, isn't it so? Hello? This much you must keep, this much pride and freedom you must keep in your life, it doesn't matter, the whole world says you're wrong. But you are not ashamed of what you have done, that much you must always keep in your life. If that one thing, if you give up, I'm telling you, you'll live a very poor life. You may have everything, but you'll have nothing. <laughs>